Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to go about making a notification alarm system uh, using the micro bit through light and sound. So once again um, we're just going to start off in this video um, by going to makecode.com. If you need help getting here to this website and um, what this is all about, then you can check out our previous video that we shared within this presentation. But if you type in makecode.com, it will take you here to this website, which is free and open source Microsoft Make Code. So on the far left, you will see the picture of the micro bit. Please click that again. And when you do, if you remember from our last video, on the far left, you will see a new project um, icon with the purple edition icon. If you click that, it will prompt you for a project name. So for this one, we are gonna use um, notification alarm. Um, just for now, for simplicity, I might just type in alarm. And then I'll hit this green create button just underneath where we type that in. Uh, and if you click that, it will take you to the make code coding environment page. Now, if you're not familiar with um, the layout of this page, then please see uh, our other videos, but just to keep uh, and save our time, we're just gonna move forward with the code of how we actually build this alarm. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is take this on start block and delete it. So you can do that by clicking on it and dragging it over top of the drawers and then letting go and that will delete the code for you. So now we're left with this forever block and we wanna leave the forever block because we want this alarm to work in perpetuity or until we tell it to stop. So um, we're gonna leave the forever block but we're gonna add something to it. So can you please click on your logic drawer, which is like the teal color drawer. And we are gonna use a conditional, um, which is a really a fundamental aspect of coding. And we're gonna use the if true then else block, which is the second one down. If you click that and place it with inside of the forever loop, that will give us a condition, but we need to use the logic drawer one more time. So go back to your logic drawer and scroll down until you see like this comparison block. And then what I want you to do is find the first one where it says zero equals zero. So the zero equals zero is going to go and be embedded right over top of this true statement. So you see where it says true? You'll notice that the shapes actually match and you're gonna place it right over top and align it from the left. So you'll go slow and you see how that little line is there. That now tells me it's safe to drop in. All right. So now we have to can set the condition for light level. So on the micro bit, light level is read in values of zero um, being like total darkness to 255, which is extreme brightness. So just to keep that in mind as we move forward. So to find your light level option, click on the input drawer, the future colored input drawer. And if you scroll down, you will see a circular option which says light level. Can you please click that and place it over top of the first zero, just like we did previously. Okay. Now right to the right of light level, you'll see that there's an equal sign. But right next to that, there's a little drop down arrow. Can you click that drop down arrow? and go to um, the second one from the bottom, which is if light level is greater than, and you'll see the greater than sign, and change it to the greater than sign. So if light level is greater than, and instead of zero, click on your zero, and type in a value of 30. Now you might have to play around with this based on the light level of your classroom or wherever you're running this project from, so keep that in mind that you might have to iterate this along the way. So we are gonna now add a loop function in as a repeat. So what we're gonna do is click on the green loops drawer and we're gonna grab the repeat four times do block and we're just gonna place that right inside the if light level. Now I'm gonna change the repeat instead of four, we're gonna click and change this to two. All right, so now really what's gonna happen if the, right now it means if light level's greater than 30, that basically means that we have to set off our alarm. So to show that that's going to happen, we're gonna click on our blue basic drawer, scroll down to where we see the show icon heart block and click and drag that inside of the loop function. 
Now we in theory could leave this heart, but we're gonna change the heart to like a music note, just so that we know that like there's gonna be music playing as an alert. So this will show up on our physical micro bit and you'll see it displayed over here on the simulator. Now we may also want to actually make the alarm part. So where would we find that in terms of like light and sound and how they work together? Well, if you see the orange music drawer, you can click that and you are going to scroll down until where you see um, Melody Advanced. Now we are gonna use the one right directly underneath that, which is Start Melody and Repeating Once. So we're gonna take this block, place it right underneath the show icon, and you can go through and change all of the different like melodies that are already here or construct your own. Um, for right now, I'm going to select the Power Up Melody um, and then I'm going to mute this just so it doesn't make this loud noise. So you can do that by clicking right over here. Um, and this is really important if you're doing it in a classroom and this will mute it so you don't have to hear that throughout um, your programming. Okay, last step. Um, it's just good practice to practice like pausing and clearing screens. So we're going to click on our blue basic drawer and we're going to scroll down until where we see a pause for 100 milliseconds and add that inside the, um, or underneath the start melody. Last step. So this is what happens if like our light level, imagine our lid is open, you can see the micro bit and light levels detected. That means that we have to send off a, a notification alarm. What happens if we don't need to? What happens if light level is less than 30? Well, that's what happens in this else block. So if light level is less than 30, we, what are we gonna show here? Well, that means we're really happy because no door is open, there's no dangers or hazards. So we're just gonna show an, uh, an icon of a happy face. So to find the happy face, go up to your blue basic drawer, um, find your show icon heart block again, and click it inside of the else block. And then there's a little drop down arrow right next to the heart and you can scroll down and or scroll up and find a happy face icon. And now you can actually use your simulator and you'll see that there's up in the upper left hand corner here, there's this little value of like 128 being like halfway through. So if you click and drag this, you can actually show that like what, like now see how the music note's showing, that would actually tell me that the music's playing. But if I move light level below 30, you'll see a happy face, which meaning there's no light getting in and everything is fine. We hope this video is really helpful. Um, if you do have questions or comments, please reach out and thanks very much.